Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Welcome back star family. This pick a card reading is going to take a look at what spirit needs you to know right now in regards to pursuing your passion. Maybe some of you are already on the path to pursue your passion. Maybe some of you haven't even started yet, but we want to take a look at what is it that spirit needs you to know about it right now in this moment. This is going to be a very different style of pick a card. I honestly can't say or I don't know if it's already been done and if it has been done I'm not 100% sure it's been done like this. Um, so this is going to be a true choose your own adventure pick a card. It is literally a pick a card reading within another pick a card reading. So you're going to choose your pile right Malachite, Strawberry Quartz, Lemurian Quartz. You're going to choose your pile. I'm going to give you the main portion of the reading via your pile. But then I'm going to give you three other options to choose another trajectory as far as the way your story or your reading goes. So you're going to have three emojis to choose from for each pile. So Malachite will get three options. Strawberry Quartz will get three options to go down. And the Lemurian will also get three options to go down. And this is like the book from the 80s, a, series, a book series from the 80s. When I was a kid, there was a book called Choose Your Own Adventure. So you would go, you would read the story, story about one or two chapters in, and then there would be a portion at the very, very end of a chapter that would say, if you want to take your story this way, go to page 54. If you want to go or choose this direction in the reading, go to page 18 or whatever it is. And it would take you down a different tra trajectory. Based on your choice, the story would unfold a different way. And I was sitting at night one time and I was like kind of nostalgic about those books. And I was like, oh, I wonder if I could apply that same concept to a pick a card. So this is what I'm doing. This is a pick a card within a pick a card. You choose the ending of your reading. Basically, you choose how it ends. Um, and that's why there's three choices for each pile. I hope that explained it well enough. Um, <laughs> you have, again, a series of emojis to choose from. But now that you know how it works, I, I hope you enjoy this reading. Please feel free after you've experienced it to let me know if you like it, maybe you don't like it, I don't know, but I would love to hear your opinion because I would love to do this for other topics as well, like for love and spirituality in your journey and, you know, things like that. Um, I think it would be fun. It just expands upon the idea of what a pick a card reading is altogether. And again, makes me feel like a child, right? While I'm doing them because it reminds me of the books that I used to love to read so much. Um, these were books that I used to get in the 80s. I'm I'm almost 44 years old, so you know, that does kind of age me <laughs> if you're familiar with it with those books. Now you know how old I am, but I'm a kid that grew up in the 80s, teen in the 90s. And those were one thing about my childhood that I used to love so much. So I'm glad that I can sort of incorporate that into my readings. Um if you're not familiar with my channel, my readings are timeless. Okay, just giving you the rundown. My readings are timeless. So whether you watch it now at the upload time or sometime later down the road, basically whenever it's placed into your awareness, you feel that nudge to watch, there indeed may be a message here for you. Um, while you're choosing your pile, click on the picture clip, the video clip in silence in order to give you more time really. Uh, and you can be completely undisturbed during your selection process. Click on the video clip and the picture clip in silence. Pause where necessary. Take as much time as you need to in order to choose if you feel during that time you are led to pick more than one crystal or card on the table. Again, always listen to your intuition. It's always going to be highly encouraged here. Pick more than one if you feel it necessary. Although with this kind of reading, it could lead down a couple of different rabbit holes, just like the books themselves with the choose your own adventure stories. Um, <laughs> so be mindful of that. Again, do whatever you feel you need to do. And... These readings, keep in mind also that they are general, right? 
so many of you come from different walks of life, have different experiences. I can't possibly connect with each and every one of you that does click on this video. There will be many of you that watch. Although I hope you manage to find a message here. But what I always say is if you don't find a message within this particular reading, maybe consider visiting my pick a card playlist before you click off my channel altogether. There might be another reading somewhere in that playlist of many different topics that will draw your attention and maybe have a message for you there instead. And let's say if all is said and done, maybe I'm not the reader for you. That's okay. I trust that the magic will lead you right and true to guide you to the right messages that you need for confirmation on your journey. Because again, it's magic. That's how it works. And I trust the universe will always guide you right and true that way. So with all that being said, um, I hope I explained the way this reading is going to work. I hope I explained it well enough. Um, I will leave you here and I will meet you at your selection. Pile number one viewers, you chose Malachite as your crystal. I'm going to put that there. This is your card. There is an image on the other side of this card. I will be sure to incorporate the meaning of this card into your reading. But first, I want to grab the tarot. We are going to be looking at what is it that spirit needs you to know about you pursuing your passion? And this is what I'm calling a choose your own adventure pick a card. So basically it's a pick a card within a pick a card reading. And there will be three images, okay, um, to choose from in order to continue the reading. So you've already chose the first part. Now, after I read this and get it out on the table for you, um, we're going to ask another question and that will require you choosing another thing. So there will be three options um, after we're done with this portion and I will have that up on the screen. It'll be about 30 seconds that you'll have to choose the next portion of the reading and you can pause where necessary at that time in order to choose and then continue, okay? So let's see, what is it, pile number one? viewers that spirit needs you to know about pursuing your passion the main thing that spirit needs you to know about you pursuing your passion that's whether you're already in the throes of pursuing it or contemplating pursuing it we all have a passion we would love to pursue and this is what spirit needs you to know most about that at this time so let's see Pile number one, what does the spirit need you to know in regards to pursuing your passion? Okay, so let's see what we have here. Whoa, we have, <laughs> we have the full card. And this portion is going to be kept short and sweet because again, we have three options to choose from after this. So right off the bat, spirit is saying in regards to you pursuing your passion, spirit is almost posing a question here. It feels like why haven't you started? What are you waiting for? Go go out and get it because you have the sun surrounding you and illuminating this pursuit or idea that you're contemplating at this time. The dog is a symbol of loyalty um, and it it's also an animal that's very devoted. And you've heard me say this in my readings before, jump and the net will appear. Trust that spirit will catch your fall. That is what spirit needs you to know most about pursuing a passion, an idea, a project, something that you're, you know, excited about. And I say excited because a fool can be very excited about something very optimistic in regards to what it's doing and where it's headed. You have the protective energy of the dog's loyalty here. So I also feel like if you think of the word dog, it does spell God backwards, right? I forgot what the, what the word is when things are flipped right like that or mirrored but the word dog is god mirrored and god mirrored is you know is the word dog if you want to look about at it like that and honestly dogs have such a and i'm a dog lover i don't i have many um dogs are just the embodiment of unconditional love right and they are supportive and they're protective i know my girl my big girl is very protective of me so when i think of that you know it's it's the same way spirit loves you and is devoted to you and will protect you on any adventure, right? Because the fool is on an adventure into something new. This is new energy. He's taking an adventure into the new and he has his protector at his side. So I, I, 
I'm feeling like spirit is saying, if you want to pursue this path, be optimistic about it. Go into it feeling cheerful, joyful, as far as what the possibilities can bring you. Trust that spirit is at your side, is loyal to you and devoted to you and will protect you along the journey. This is also saying to be loyal to your vision and what it is that you desire to pursue and go out and do that. Take a risk. You deserve to at least try and go into it with a light heart because that's what the fool does. He doesn't carry much in his satchel. You see, it's a very light baggage of stuff that he carries and he leaves the past behind. He leaves the old in order to pursue the new. And this may be like the fool new territory for you but the feeling is here the sun is at your back it's your idea or the project or whatever it is you're looking to go after or step into the new about is full of high vibe high vibe energy that's why the card is yellow right and you have spirit support at your side and spirit's not going to let you fall right just like the the dog is you know trying to catch his attention and say look um, you know, pay attention to where you're going, right? And he's getting his attention, basically pulling him back. I've seen instances where the card is depicted with the, the dog pulling at his pant leg, you know? And it's that same kind of thing. Spirit will always be there to support you, to give you guidance. And if there's any pitfalls, you will be diverted from that in regards to the pursuit of this passion. So trust that spirit will have your back and be at your side the entire way. Okay, know that you're safe and that it's a matter of trusting that the net will appear, taking that leap, taking a risk on yourself and seeing where it takes you. How will you know unless you try? So let's see what this card is. Okay, so we have the dragon. Look at that. Okay, so you this is saying you stepping in this direction in the pursuit of this is also going to help you to step into your personal power. The dragon energy is that. It's the embod embodiment of personal power and courage. And sometimes it does take courage to step into step into the unknown, step into Maybe things you're uncomfortable with or into unknown territory it might be all new to you, but it does take courage to do that. Um, but this is saying, again, that you're capable. You have a lot of strength, courage, and within you. And you stepping in the direction of pursuing this passion is helping you to step into your power. The dragon is also, oddly enough, I was talking about the dog being a loyal devoted companion right and protector well the dragon energy also speaks of guardian like a guardian right a protector like a, think of like also like a gargoyle protecting a building well the dragon energy can also be a protective energy a guardian and it also speaks of um, good things good luck good fortune so the fact that we have two cards here indicating that you're safe you're protected um to go into it feeling optimistic and just stay positive about it. You know, it's going to guide you in the direction of pursuing your passion, your power, your personal power. And it's going to lead you to something good. So I love this already. This is already off to a positive start for you, pile number one. Let's go ahead and go to the portion where you choose the next stage of your reading. And that portion of the reading is going to take a look at where is it going to lead you overall? Okay, where is this? The pursuit of this passion, where is it going to lead you? Where is it going to take you? What will it bring, right? That's what we're going to look at next. So go ahead. You have the option of the tree, the tulip, and the seashell. File number one viewers, choosing the tree. We are looking at the next portion of your reading. What will it bring to you overall, right? What will it bring to your overall experience to pursue this passion? Where will it lead you is the next question we're asking here. 
So you pursuing your passion. We already know it's off to a positive start. But where will it lead you all overall? Uh, what will it bring to your overall experience? Okay. Nice. Okay, so you get the Knight of Pentacles. It's going to lead you to opportunities. Okay. And I love the Pentacle here because it's speaking of earthly tangible things. So you pursuing this might at first be a very random, right, with the full energy, it might be a very random idea. And it might take a risk on your part, but it's also going to lead you to a lot of opportunities. It's going to move you in the direction of growth, fiscally, materially, financially, right, um, creatively. And not only that, with the Knight of Pentacles, it's saying that this is very stable, because it's earth energy, it's solid, it's secure, it's, you know, this is about you maybe doing things uh, at a very safe pace, okay? It might start off over here with the fool as like, yeah, just jumping right in. And it, it feels like with the fool, he, he might just take a leap or you might take a leap very quickly and suddenly and unexpectedly from one day to the next, just decide, okay, I'm going to do this. But once you get the ball rolling, this is saying it's going to lead to new opportunities. It's going to lead to something stable and secure. It's going to help move you forward in a positive, secure, safe, and steady way. Um, this is about progress. Okay. And moving in the direction of other goals as well. So where you take the leap to start something new, it leads you to other things. It leads you to pursue other goals that you have in mind um, in a very like safe way. All right. Knight of Pentacles is very secure energy. So I feel like you're safe in this and I don't think you have anything to worry about overall. I just feel like it's going to lead you to other opportunities, other things that you perhaps wanted to pursue. I feel like it's going to open doors to lead you to more. Okay. And you can trust that you will have, what the feeling is here, um, the know-how, right? Because to me, the Knight of Pentacles is an energy that dots all I's, crosses all T's, makes sure everything is done right the first time. Um, so there's no room for error, right? And that's a good energy to have, when, especially when you're starting off something new, Okay. So I feel like, again, overall, you're safe. What, what's it going to lead? What's it, where, as far as, hold on, what will it bring to your overall experience? Well, it's going to bring you other opportunities. It's going to teach you a lot of things. It's going to move you in the direction of other goals, in the pursuit of other goals that you have. Not only that, the feeling that I get from that is that it will help you to trust and feel safe in the pursuit of other things. So again, when you take this leap, it's going to trust, it's going to teach you to trust to take other leaps is what this is saying in the pursuit of other goals that you have. And that's what it's going to lead you to or bring to your overall experience. Okay. So I have a final Oracle card for you. Pile number one, choosing the tree. Final Oracle card for you. Also, the feeling here is what it's going to lead you to or what it's going to add to your overall experience is basically you're going to make money in a very safe, secure way also because the Knight of Pentacles does take the move or make the moves to invest in other things. Once it has the funds, it goes and puts its money into that. Um, so again, it's it's the feeling of exploring, exploring other venues or other streams of income as well. So it'll open up other streams of income for you besides the one you first start with, okay? In addition to, right, the first one you start with. So let's see here. Final Oracle card, pile number one, choosing the tree. All right. Oh, yes. Look at that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, stop worrying. Everything's going to be fine. You have a very bright future in the pursuit of this. I mean, Lakshmi, right? What, what more do you need? She is, I think, from what I understand, is a symbol of abundance. And then you have 
the beautiful energy of the elephant with the trunks upward. And I believe that's a symbol of good luck. So yes, yeah, stop worrying, right? Take the leap. Step into your personal power. There is good fortune and something good that comes from this with the dragon energy. Spirit has your back, is looking out for you. This is the first step in the direction of other things as well, right? It feels like it's a trickle down effect. You start with one thing, which leads to another, to another, to another, which opens up multiple streams of pursuing your passions. Not just one passion, more than one passion. All right? so. Pile number one, choosing a tree. This is your reading. If you feel that this is helping connected for you, by all means, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, like, share, subscribe to support this channel. Want to take it a step further? Visit me on Etsy. The link to my Etsy store is down below. I have really cool things there, including handmade jewelry there that I make by hand. So much love to you wherever you are. Take care and always keep shining. Pile number one, viewers, choosing the tulip. We are going to look next at what will the pursuit of your passion, right? What will it, will it bring or add to your overall experience? Where will it lead you or what will it lead you to? That's what we're going to look at next. Pile number one. What will it add or bring to your overall experience to pursue this passion? We know that if you pursue it, spirit has your back. Spirit's looking out for you. And this is a way of stepping into your personal power. But what will it bring to your experience overall, where will it lead you? That's what we're looking at next. Whoa, okay. We have the justice energy. Okay, justice speaks of balance, right? It speaks of alignment, if we're looking at it like an energy. And it's also about you doing something, okay? The feeling is here, doing something that brings you good karma okay and i know that's weird but that's what i'm getting from this this is about doing something that brings your overall journey into alignment brings order out of something that maybe was disparate or out of order it sets things right in your journey And if you believe in karma, it balances out karma in the pursuit of it. It brings you good karma is what this is telling me. You put good energy, like cause and effect, right? It helps you to put good energy out there into the world. And the good that you put out there comes back to you is what this is saying. So if you're doing good works via this passion, you can expect that you will be blessed and the karma repaid in kind. Okay, not that we should ever do anything hoping to get something from it, but this is what this is saying. You pursuing this is helping to balance out karma somewhere in your life in turn for good. The justice energy again sets things right, makes things right right um it's the feeling of if something's gone wrong it'll make it right it restores justice and balance and order in one's life brings order out of chaos i'm sure you've heard that phrase before sometimes it's you know it's associated with something not so good but when we're thinking about the energy of ma'at because that's what it is okay this is Balancing out things in one's life and setting it right. And this is also telling me with the justice energy that the pursuit of this is the right path. Because she always makes things right. It's going to set you down the right path. Is what this is telling me. And it's also going to... Again, because the justice energy can speak of decision making, right? It's going to, this is going to lead you down a fair, just, noble path. And I also feel like it's also going to help you trust future decision making. Any decision that you make moving forward, it's going to help you to trust that. 
to trust trust yourself and the truth, your inner truth. And it's going to help you to trust, like, not only spirit, but trust you to be true to you. Does that make sense? I should get that on a shirt. I should make merch with that. Does that make sense? Um, <laughs> but anyway, the feeling is here. This is going to teach you to be true to yourself in all things that matter. To trust your discernment and your decision making down the path, any path that you choose for yourself moving forward. And it's going to also put, put good into the world. Which, of course, will naturally come back to you as good. Okay, so let's see what the final message is here for you. Those of you choosing the tulip for your flower. Um, let's see. Final message here. File number one, choosing the tulip. Oh, okay, that almost slipped over. We just want one final message here. Okay. Oh, look at that. Infinite supply. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. So if you were concerned at all, as far as whether this pursuit was going to provide for you, Right? We know the justice card is going to make things right. That includes making your finances right too. Setting those right as well. Balancing that out also. Okay. So there's no need to worry about the financial aspect of this because that will be set right. Like I said, if there was any part of your world that was feeling out of whack or out of order, I mean, maybe the financial aspect of your journey or your career or whatever it is that you're doing at this time maybe is out of whack or out of order. But this is saying that the pursuit of this passion will set that right. Okay, so if there's been lack for so long, it'll balance it out and rectify the situation because the justice card always does. So that way that's not an issue anymore. Because again, our life is not supposed to be, it's not supposed to be lacking in anything. Whether it's spiritually, emotionally, um financially like materially like every aspect of our journey is supposed to be fully supplied for and fulfilled and it's not supposed to be lacking in in anything so if there has been any lack in your journey in whatever area of your life especially finances with this card this is saying the justice card is saying it's going to rectify that the pursuit of the this passion because you're doing it with optimism you're stepping into your power you're trusting yourself um it'll set that right through okay it'll set the the lack in 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 your material life or your fiscal you know fiscal financial life it's going to set that right through the pursuit of this passion okay so if you're worried about if the money will come this is saying the money will be there so pile number one choosing the tulip this is your reading i'll leave you here if you feel this has helped and connected for you in some magical way, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe to support this channel. I want to take it a step further to support what I do. Visit me on Etsy. I have really cool crystal jewelry that I make there by hand. Pay me a visit at any time. So I will leave you here. Um, send you much love. Take care and always keep shining. Pile number one viewers choosing the seashell. For the rest of your reading, we are going to be taking a look at the second portion. We want to know what will pursuing this passion, right? What will it bring to your overall experience? Where will it lead you? Where will, you know, what is it going to add to your experience? Or how is it going to add to your experience in some way? In some way, what would it lead you to? So like I said, we already know that spirit is saying, you know, what you need to know most is that if you pursue this passion, it's going to help you step into your personal power. That spirit's going to be there, right, for you uh, to support you along the way. And it's just a matter of you taking a risk and trusting that you can do it. So let's see, what will the pursuit of this passion, where will it lead you overall? 
What will it add to your experience? Let's see. Oh, okay. So the hermit energy. The hermit speaks of a soul a pilgrimage of the soul. So it's telling me that it's going to lead you right over here. We have the star and the lamp. So it feels like it's going to lead you to your wish. And not only that, your wish fulfillment, but not only that, it's it's about a pilgrimage of the soul. So it's going to lead you maybe to your purpose. It's going to help you to gain knowledge and wisdom on an inherent soul level. So again, I don't know if the pursuit of your passion has to do with your soul purpose, but there are a couple cards in the deck that give me that vibe of spiritual purpose. And um, one of them is the Hermit. The other one is the High Priestess. The other one is the Hierophant. And the... Mm, depends. Sometimes the Hangman. It just depends on what's next to it. But the Hermit card is definitely taking a pilgrimage of the soul. It goes in pursuit, right, of the way that its soul is dictating. And it does do it alone go it alone because there's there's only there's this voice inside that can only it's the only voice that can guide it okay and it does cast things and people and situations aside in order to go pursue where it's being led because it's again it's the voice only you can hear So the feeling is here, you are going to, right, as a result of taking this leap of faith, perhaps, or taking a risk in pursuit of a passion, not only step into your personal power, right, it's going to lead you to good things, but it's going to lead you to a deeper connection with yourself and trusting, moving forward, the path that spirit puts you on in the pursuit of your calling. And it does take a deeper reflection and connection with self as the hermit, right? And the hermit undergoes that deeper connection with, with spirit and self on the journey. So sometimes our pursuit of passion can make us feel like we're on a very lonely road by ourselves, right? But this is telling me that it's this is meant to be that way. This is your experience. You're meant to grow, learn, and connect to your higher self on a deeper level through this pursuit of purpose with the hermit energy. Like this is telling me this is a journey only you can fulfill. Like this is, this is no one else's journey but yours, right? And this is a purpose and or calling that spirit has in mind just for you the hermit is telling me that you you will learn to follow through with that guidance and pursue it because you can't ignore it because this is leading you to something more. It's, it's something deeper than just pursuing a passion. There's a lot more to it than that. Um, this is leading to spiritual growth, inner wisdom, knowledge. And I will even go so far as to say perhaps enlightenment in the pursuit of this passion. So it's a lot more than just pursuing an idea, a creative project, uh, you know, just a passion in general. We all have different passions. This is a lot deeper than that. This is about you pursuing a purpose, a spiritual purpose, a spiritual calling, and then heeding the call and going in the direction of that because, again, that's where spirit is guiding you and you're trusting the journey in a way that only you can understand. And this purpose is... As you pursue the path, it might feel lonely for some of you at times because this is this is your journey to experience. And I will say that there are 
probably going to be people that don't understand. But the hermit, again, is not afraid to go it alone without the assistance of other human counterparts, right? Because it has spirit to, to sustain, provide, and light the way. He's a hermit for a reason. He doesn't need people necessarily, but he, he needs the support of spirit on the journey towards purpose, you see? So it might be a lonely road or it might feel like a lonely road, but you know, on the pursuit of this purpose, it's more than just a passion, it's purpose. It might feel like a lonely road in the pursuit of this purpose, but you're not alone because spirit is with you and the guiding light of the star is never gonna leave you in the dark in the pursuit of it. You just, you know, again, this is a journey for you to experience, to learn and grow and commune and trust more to that inner voice, that inner calling. Uh, the more you pursue it, the more it you hone it and the stronger that gets. So, yeah, I think that's, it's very profound in that way, you know. This is only, this is only something you can pursue, right? Oh, wow. Look at that. Blossoming. You are just getting started. So have patience with yourself in the process. Don't give up. Yeah, like I was saying, I was getting the vibe that for some of you, this might feel like a very lonely road, right? In the pursuit of this purpose and our passion. But it's okay because... You don't need people on the outside physical 3D world to support you or have your back in this. This is about you coming into your own and all you need is spirit to guide the way and sustain you through the process of this journey. You are at the beginning stages. Yes, we see that here with the fool and it says you're just getting started, right? So have patience with yourself. Yeah, the fool is the beginning of something new. But Spirit is saying you're blossoming, you're coming into your own, right? You're gaining wisdom and enlightenment and you're, you're learning how to listen to this, the inner voice of Spirit and trust the guidance that it provides to light the way. And through the process of the pursuit of this passion and purpose, you are blossoming into the fullest potential of you. Just like a flower. Okay, so pile number one, choosing the seashell. This is your reading. If you feel that this has helped and connected for you in some magical way, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. I want to take it a step further to support what I do. Visit my Etsy store. The link is down below in the description box. Pay me a visit. I have really cool handmade crystal jewelry that I make there by hand. Pay me a visit at any time. Much love to you wherever you are. Take care and keep shining. Pile number two viewers, you chose the strawberry quartz as your crystal. There is an image on the back of this oracle card. I will be sure to incorporate this card into your reading, but first I want to grab from the tarot. We are looking at what is it that spirit needs you to know right now um, at this moment in regards to pursuing your passion. Whoa, did you see that? <laughs> so you had the six of wands fall out for you, which is really good news. So basically the six of wands is saying that you will achieve this, that you will triumph over a lot of previous adversity, perhaps in the pursuit of it. Um, I love the, the energy of this card, obviously, because it's positive. It speaks of achievement and success. But not only that, it also talks about the journey leading up to the achievement and the success. It talks about an energy that has gone through ups and downs, challenges, adversity, and the fact that you have overcome it. So again, this is saying that if there are any challenges, if there are any hills you perceive, right, that are there to climb in the achieving of it, that's a non-issue in a sense because it's all purposeful to get you there to that success, to get you there to that achievement. It's all part of a learning experience is what this is telling me. And that journey makes the reward of achieving 
that much sweeter. Right? Because it... Well, they say there's no reward without a little risk. That's what this is telling me. Um, it, it does make the journey to arriving at your pursuit that much more meaningful too. Okay, sometimes we need to give ourselves credit is what this is saying. We need to give ourselves credit for all that we've been through, all that we've experienced, the ups and downs that we've undergone to achieve and or arrive at our success. And this is saying to give yourself credit, right? When you arrive at your pursuit fulfilled, achieved. Not to forget the journey that got you there is what this is saying. Because it, it was all character, the feeling is character building. I know that's weird, but um, for this card especially. But yeah, it feels like it was all character building. So I feel like some of you also have already undergone a lot to get to this point where you are on the brink of feeling ready to pursue a passion. Some of you may have already done it. Some of you may have already achieved, already have pursued the passion and maybe are living it right now. And the reminder here is, again, to be grateful for the journey you have overcome so much. You have triumphed over much adversity to get to this point where you can now receive your reward, enjoy what you've accomplished and bask in that. And if you haven't quite stepped into the pursuit of a passion as of yet, then this is saying that the road to getting there will be very meaningful. It will have challenges to overcome. Anything that we wish to pursue sometimes does. That's given territory, right? That's just a given in that territory. But the reward of actually accomplishing it will be worth everything along the way. And that's what spirit needs you to know about the pursuit of your passion. It'll be worth it. You will have the acknowledgement, the recognition that you deserve. You will have accomplished what you set out to do. Number six is also a number of balance, alignment, and harmony. So you pursuing this passion and divine inspiration that maybe has ignited you in the direction of this is putting you in alignment with what you're meant to do. You will have victory over anything, any challenge that comes your way in the pursuit of this. And the journey there will be so worth it. Okay. So let's take a look at what this card is. Whoa. Okay. So wish wish fulfillment this is about pursuing a wish a dream a desire on the heart so your per your passion is maybe tied into i was about to say purpose um your passion is tied into a wish you've always held on your heart a desire oh this card actually what's funny is this talks about accomplishing it talks about achieving it um reaching the goal successfully right and then this card talks about a desired outcome so this is saying you're going to achieve the desired outcome the the outcome that you seek you will have you will have it um the wish card itself not only speaks of wish fulfillment and the desired outcome that you seek but it can sometimes talk about things that on a perception level just it's just perception sometimes we perceive things as impossible but this is telling me with the six of wands that you will be able to achieve what you perceive as impossible. So that's another thing that spirit wants you to know about this right now. You may perceive it as impossible, but that's not truth because you can achieve this. The six of wands is a card that has already accomplished much. And the feeling that I'm also getting here is that this might be very big. It might be something huge. Some of you are 
big dreamers. You dream big. And I always say that nothing is impossible, right? So you might as well dream big. You might as well. Don't limit yourself. Dream big. You have every right to. Because the divine inspires things within us and gives us these inspirations. And they're there for a purpose. And it's up to us whether we go out and get it is a feeling here. So what Spirit wants you to know in regards to pursuing a passion, you have motivation, drive, ambition, I feel, to pursue this and actually accomplish the impossible. So if this is what you want and you're, you're determined, because that's Wand's energy, you know, drive, passion, motivation, ambition, divine inspiration, right? If, if you really want this, the wish card is saying you can achieve what others might deem or you might perceive as the impossible. This passion is leading to a wish fulfilled. Okay, this is part of your wish fulfillment. So pile number one, let's go ahead and go to the second portion of your reading. You have three options. You have the butterfly, the unicorn, and the fairy. You have about 30 seconds, and you can also pause where you need to in order to choose the next leg of this reading. This reading, the second portion, is going to take a look at what will it bring to your overall experience to pursue this, right? To pursue this passion. Where will it lead you? So I'll meet you there. Go ahead and choose now the next stage of this reading. Pile number two viewers choosing the butterfly. We are going to be looking at what will this pursuit, the pursuit of this passion, what will it bring you overall? What will it add to your experience overall? Where will it lead you? Okay, so those of you choosing the butterfly, this is the next, again, this is about choosing your own adventure to see where your story leads, right? So let's see, you chose the butterfly. And what will this bring to your overall experience, you pursuing this? We know that you're on the path to achieving a big wish or dream that you have for yourself. Um, you are capable of overcoming anything to arrive at it is what Spirit is saying here. And to accomplish and achieve it and have your success. So let's see what will it add overall to your experience. Where will it lead you? Nice. Okay, so Page of Pentacles is indicating that if you are, you know, determined and willing to pursue this, you will achieve big goals, achieve big dreams. But this is also saying that the Page of Pentacles is indicating you are going to learn something new. Maybe the pursuit of this passion and part of your wish fulfillment is also going to lead you to learning something new altogether. It it will enhance or further your studies. It will also lead you in the direction of something new. That's what page pages are. They're new energy. They get their feet wet into a new direction. They experience new things. They try new things out out of curiosity and exploration. Especially with, when it's a page of pentacles, it speaks about studying. So this is about you, I guess, furthering your studies in the pursuit of your passion. It may open up other things to learn on the journey in the pursuit of this passion so not only will you be very successful at accomplishing it but it's going to also open up other doors for you to learn other things it's going to help you to explore other avenues along the route to pursuing your purpose and maybe once you accomplish it again help you step into other things altogether Page of Pentacles is also about 
um, curiosity, right? And expanding your horizons. And that's what it's going to do. It's going to open you up to a whole new world of what is possible. Expand your horizons down other rabbit holes and other avenues where you can expand maybe even, even in regards to how you begin or start a business in regards to how you invest your money. There's a lot of different things a page of pentacles is willing to invest that coin in to see where it can grow. So this is telling me it's going to lead you to other investments, other avenues to explore in regards to business career and money. Um, it will lead you to other things to explore in regards to what you want to study. It's just going to open you up to a world of possibilities is what this is saying. So expect to learn new things, either along the journey to arriving at this, or once you arrive, it's going to open up the, a world to you to explore and expand in. And this is all new. This is all new territory for the Page of Pentacles, okay? So let's see if we can get a final card for you. Pile number two, choosing the butterfly. Final oracle card. Whoa. Also, the butterfly itself is a symbol of change and transformation. So you'll, I also feel like because of that, um, you'll undergo a metamorphosis as well that'll lead you to new things. Um, but let's see. Look at that. Kali. Endings and beginnings. The old must be released so that the new can enter. Yeah. And this is, this is funny. I was talking about the butterfly being a metamorphosis, right? Um, the lotus symbolizes transformation and transmutation. The, the butterfly is also a symbol of transformation. So again, you're going to undergo a lot, right? In the process of arriving at this, like I said, if there was any... Any adversity or challenges, you are more than capable of overcoming them. It's a non-issue because it's it's not going to change the fact that you're going to arrive at your at your destination or your goal achieved, you see. But it's going to be a learning experience and the pages are always willing to learn and explore and expand. Kali is an energy that has overcome much adversity. Like it's 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 shadow oftentimes, you know, but it's where we grow. It's where we learn. It's, it's how we gain fortitude and strength. So I feel like, yeah, I mean, in the pursuit of this passion, not only will you arrive at it and be successful, uh, but it's going to change you in the process of arriving at it. And it's going to close a lot of things, right? Shut doors in certain aspects of your life that are needed to open fresh doors up to you, right? Where one door closes, another one opens. So if doors are closing on the path to arriving at this thing, be grateful for the, those doors finishing or closing themselves out, right? Those things of the past, closing themselves out and making way for fresh new energy. Because all the doors that are closing are just preparing you to receive other doors to open to help you arrive at this. So many changes along the way to arriving at your wish fulfillment and or your, your goal achieved. But it's again, it's all going to be worth it in the end. Because it's going to open you up to a lot of different things here. A lot of opportunity with the page of pentacles. So don't be afraid. Right? The feeling is here. Don't be afraid if you have to shut some doors along the way to arriving at this wish fulfilled. And any door that closes in front of you is just going to open up a new one to get you there anyway. So, again, at first we may perceive it as adversity, but it's all purposeful to help us arrive where we need to be. And also feel like spirit knows what it's doing. Um, in regards to guiding you on this journey to arriving at it. And you will transform your life. And you will not be the same when you arrive at it. You'll be a whole different person. 
again, the transmutative energy of the lotus, the metamorphosis of the butterfly that you chose. You're not going to be the same person. And that's what it's going to add to your experience. It's going to change you, shift you, transform you in the process of pursuing it. But it's also going to show you that anything's possible. And it's going to open up a world of opportunity to you. It's going to take you down different, a different path of exploration that you never knew was possible. And that's what it's going to add to your experience. Okay, so pound number one, choosing the butterfly. This is your reading. If you feel that this has helped and connected for you in some magical way, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. I want to take it a step further to support what I do. Visit me on Etsy. The link to my Etsy store is down below in the description box. Pay me a visit. I have really cool handmade jewelry that I make there, crystal jewelry that I make there by hand on my free time. So pay me a visit at any time. Much love to you wherever you are. Be well, be safe, take care, and always keep shining. Pile number two viewers, choosing the unicorn. We are going to take a look at the next portion of your reading. This next portion is going to take a look at what will the pursuit of this passion bring to your overall experience? What will it add or bring to your overall experience? What will it lead you to? Um, so we already know that you will be successful at whatever it is that you desire to pursue in regards to a wish or a dream on your heart. You have the ambition to drive the motivation, right? Because that's the energy of the wands to pursue this the perseverance, the, de the determination, right, to accomplish. And you have that stamina. So it's spirit saying here, if you want to do this, you can do this. You can achieve this. Um, and any challenges, right, any adversity that you might perceive along the way, you will triumph over it. So let's see what the pursuit of this, right, what will it bring or add to your overall experience, Pile number two, choosing the unicorn. Let's see. One card. All right. What? No way. Wow, that's beautiful. All right, so you have the Ten of Cups. Um, this dream or wish on your heart that you want to pursue, right? You're pursuing a passion here, obviously. Um... This is just going to lead you to your overall emotional fulfillment and satisfaction. It's going to lead you to a happy life, a sweet life, a joyful life, a fulfilled life, right? And a successful conclusion, again, with the Ten of Cups, not only have, or, or the feeling is here like, yeah, I did it, you know? I mean, look at their arms up in the air. We did it, right? That kind of thing. Um, so it's like two cards that are giving me that vibe of, being able to say, you did it. No dream is too big, right? No thing is impossible. It's just going to, it feels like solidify that in your heart, like to trust in, in that. That if anything that you want, you set your mind to or you're determined to pursue and anything that you believe in hard enough, you can accomplish it. This is also the feeling here of about your future, your future stability, right? Your your emotional fulfillment. Uh, the feeling is here. Maybe this passion or, or thing that you want to pursue is more than just about you in a sense that maybe you want this for your family, especially with the 10 of cups. It can speak of marriage, home life, your family, your children. You know, maybe the pursuit of this wish is more than just about you as an individual. Maybe it it is to make your family happy right? Make you happy. Make your home happy. Maybe provide for your children in some way or, or provide a, a stable, uh, loving, successful lifestyle and environment for your children or your, your, you know, your, your family life in general. Also, I want to say, I'll throw it out there. Maybe the pursuit of this passion is going to lead to a life partner, because we're also looking at, you know, what would it lead you to, right? It's going to, what is, what is it going to add to your life? Well, it's going to add a lot of emotional happiness and fulfillment. It's going to bring you joy. It's going to create a happy home life or a happy lifestyle. And at the same time, if it could lead you to a life partner. It could lead you to somebody who compliments you. It could definitely put you on the path to meet your match. 
that way. For some of you, the pursuit of this passion might lead you to another home, a new place, right? Because there's a house here, there's a land here. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm feeling the vibe of maybe introducing you to a new person or a new place along the way of on the along the way to pursuing this. So that's an added nuance uh, there with that. So let's get a final oracle in regards to this. You pursuing your passion, obviously achieving it, arriving at it, um, making you very happy. It'll give you a happy life, happy home, happy life, happy family situation. Um, fulfill you in that aspect as well. Give you emotional security and well-being. But let's see what the final message is here for those of you choosing the unicorn. Uh, funny, I, I was thinking, I was just thinking of the unicorn and the word that came to mind was magical. So it's kind of like leading you down a magical path to a magical life with the Ten of Cups. Whoa, okay. Whoa, did you see that? That's so weird. Um, but you had two fly out. Okay. Yeah, I mean, think about it here. Don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. That would be the energy of the Six of Wands because the Six of Wands wouldn't give up. It triumphs over adversity. Any adversity that's thrown in its path, you have to consider this is a soldier ha having come back from war, won the battle, won the war, and lived to talk about it, you see? And that kind of energy doesn't give up. It pursues the passion on the heart until it achieves what it wants. So yeah, this is you learning that anything that you are determined to achieve, you can achieve. That's what part of this is going to teach you as well. Um, and it's going to teach you to never give up on your dreams. And it's going to bring you peace. There's no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. Yeah, it's all going to work out in a beautiful way. There's nothing to be worried about. Like I said, if there's any adversity or challenges you may face along the pursuit of this, um, it's a non-issue because it's you're still going to arrive at your wish and destination anyhow. And it's going to bring you a peaceful life, a, a sweet life, a happy life, right? A beautiful life. It's all going to work out beautifully for you in the pursuit of this wish fulfillment, okay? So this is what I have for you, those of you choosing the unicorn uh, for this portion of your reading. Pile number two viewers with the unicorn, uh, this is what I have for you. If you feel that this is helped and connected for you in some magical way, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, and subscribe. Um, also to support this channel, want to take it a step further to support what I do. Visit me on Etsy. The link to my Etsy store is down below. In the description box, pay me a visit. I have Really cool handmade crystal jewelry there that I make with my two hands on my free time. Pay me a visit whenever you can. Much love to you wherever you are. Be well, be safe, take care, and always keep shining. Pile number two viewers, you chose the fairy for the next portion of your reading. And what we are looking at is what will, pursuing this passion, what will it bring you overall right what will it add or bring to your overall experience perhaps even where it may lead you okay or what it may lead you to so let's take a look the pursuit of this passion what will it bring or add to your overall experience where will it lead you what will it lead you to let's take a look Whoa, nine of pentacles. <laughs> so not only success and wish fulfillment, okay, that you're on the road to pursue and trusting that you can overcome anything to arrive at what you desire, okay? But it's also going to bring you money, happiness, in a sense, satisfaction in that area of life and comforts, lots of comforts. Uh, with the nine of pentacles, she's an energy that enjoys the fruits of her labor. So again, any adversity that you have to go through to get to this successfully and accomplish it is going to be well worth it remember we discussed that earlier and this is the proof of that because the nine of pentacles is an energy that does work hard for her money right donna summers i don't know if <laughs> i'm a i'm an 80s kid i you know yeah i'm 
I'm going to be 44 this year. So anyway, I grew up in the 80s and the 90s. And th that was a song. I love Donna Summers, by the way. And that's what this reminds me of. This card always reminds me of that song. She works hard for her money, right? And that is exactly it. It's a fact. You do hustle with the Nine of Pentacles. You do work for that to get to a point that you can finally sit and be comfortable and bask in your blessings. The, the Nine of Pentacles is an energy that she had to put in some elbow grease, right? In order to get where she is in this place where she can enjoy the material comforts of all that she's created. So there are blessings, material blessings that come from the pursuit of this passion. I always say that if you do what you love, the money will come. The money will follow because you're doing what you love. And the Nine of Pentacles is that energy that, that is proof of that. There, it's a very fruitful energy. Material comforts, physical comforts, right? F fiscal comforts, you know, that is what you will have from the pursuit of this passion. Where there's a will, there's a way. If you're determined enough, you will accomplish what you set out to do. This is about securing your future. And I feel like this is an energy of, of blessings. The Nine of Pentacles is blessing you, right? That Basically, what it's going to add to your overall experience is comfort. Materially, fiscally. Being able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. I feel like freedom is also what I'm feeling from this. Uh, it'll give you more time. Time to do more things that you enjoy. You know, time is a currency in itself. You know, so it feels like the pursuit of your passion is going to lead you to more free time. To do the things that you enjoy while still making money. So I love this. I mean, this could also speak of an expansion on a business. It can speak of entrepreneurial, yeah, entrepreneurship. So the pursuit of your passion may also put you on the road to be self-employed. And the freedom to create your own schedule and to choose what you want to do and maybe make money while doing the things that bring you joy and fulfillment. And yes, it's going to come with a, a hustle, right? I mean, any good thing usually does. Um, so there will be some labor involved in that, but there's also going to be a moment where you'll be able to sit back and enjoy it too. And again, anything that you have to go through to arrive at that place, at that point in your journey, in the pursuit of this passion will be well worth it. So let's see if we can get a final Oracle card here for pile number two viewers choosing the fairy as your emoji. Um, let's see, what's the final message here? Whoa, no way. Look at that. Heck yeah. I mean, look, at to me, that's a synchronicity, right? Not only do I have Bast on the table, but look, it's very similar energy, right? It says independence. Yes, your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. So it's going to lead you to being self-sufficient. Again, entrepreneur, right? That's what entrepreneurs are. They... They create their own life. They create their own businesses, right? So they have that freedom and that independence. And I don't know, the energies to me of the cards look very similar. I know, I mean, there's petals here, right? But look at the coins and I don't know. You tell me, I think it looks similar. Both of their arms are open and receptive. Yeah, this is going to put you on the path to your independence and your success is what this is saying. Self-made, self-made energy of the Nine of Pentacles. Yes, it's a woman or a person who is self-made. They have hustled to get to the point where they can finally stand and enjoy the, 
stand or sit amongst the fruit of their labors, right? And this is what this is saying here. So pile number two, choosing the fairy. This is your reading. This is what I have for you. So if you're determined, you can achieve this. No dream is too big. It's going to put you on the path to your independence, being self-sufficient, maybe a business owner, maybe working for yourself. Again, entrepreneurship is what I see here. And also material comforts and being able to enjoy your life and more time and freedom for yourself too. So again, if you feel that this has helped and connected for you, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. Want to take it a step further to support what I do. Maybe consider checking me out on Etsy. The link to my Etsy store is down below. Pay me a visit. I make really cool things. Um, I'm very crafty and artistic. And I make handmade crystal jewelry. So come check me out. Uh, visit my shop at any time and pay me a visit. Take care of yourself wherever you are. And always keep shining. Pile number three. You chose this Lemurian seed quartz. I don't know if you can see that. It's really hard to tell on camera, but uh, Lemurian seed quartz has like a barcode in it. And that's what makes it different from, there's like ridges here. That's what makes it different from a regular quartz. So that's what you chose, which is pretty cool. So this is your card. This is an Oracle card and there is meaning to this. And I will flip this over to incorporate it into the reading, but I want to get uh, the tarot on the table first. So we're looking at the pursuit of your passion, okay? What is it that spirit needs you to know right now in regards to the pursuit of your passion? Now, this is gonna be the first portion of the reading, and then I'm going to give you options to choose your own adventure or choose the next stage of the reading and what road it's gonna go down to find out later uh, what will the pursuit of this passion, right? Where will it lead you overall or what will it add to your overall experience as the next portion of the reading? But again, you have three options to choose from after you watch the first part. So let's get into it. Let's see. What is that spirit needs you to know right now in regards to the pursuit of your passion? Pile number three, viewers choosing the Lemurian Seed Quartz Crystal. What does that spirit need you to know right now? What does that spirit need you to know most right now about the pursuit of your passion? Oh, okay. Wow. I was going to pull this over. I don't know. Something told me to just pull it over right away. So <laughs> I was going to wait, but Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. This is something that's stable and secure because she is. She's always supplied for. She always has enough. I don't know if any of you are worried about money in regards to pursuing a passion. If I, It's like this feeling of if I pursue my passion, am I, am I going to be able to provide for myself and my family? Is there going to be enough money? Will I be financially or fiscally secure in the pursuit of this passion? Is it going to make me money uh, to help sustain my life or my lifestyle? Queen of Pentacles answers yes. Okay. She's very domestic, so she does talk about the home life. I don't know if you have a family to support. Most of us do. Um, but this is telling me that, you know, she has enough. She has what she needs to support her family in the, you know, as she pursues her business. And she can pursue her business and take care of her home at the same time. Um, so this is telling me that the Queen of Pentacles is very secure like that. And then we have the key energy. And the key energy talks about opening doors. Okay, it talks about opening things up for you. It reveals things. It definitely will, I, I would say, unlock things for you, right? It gives you freedom. Because it, it if you've been locked up in a situation or tied down in a situation, it opens, right? It'll help free you. Um, and it also, a key also keeps things safe. So not only does a key open doors for you, doors of opportunity, but it also can keep things safe. It can lock things up to keep things safe. So the feeling is here, you will be safe in the pursuit of this. And it will also open up avenues to give you more freedom. Okay. Maybe find more financial freedom as well. I could see that with these two cards. So I also feel like this is saying because the keys also like open things up that have been 
right? I would say, um, like think of a chest, right? Treasure, it opens up treasure. You could have the key to open a treasure chest. And when something's closed in the treasure chest and you finally open the treasure chest up, it reveals something to you. So I feel like there's a lot to be revealed to you in the pursuit of this. There's treasure to unlock along the way of, and along the way to pursuing this passion. Um, and I think also because the keys also speak of learning and education, this is telling me that you will learn a lot about yourself, okay, along the pursuit of this passion. You will unlock doors for yourself in more ways than one. You will also have things revealed to you. I feel even spiritually. Because when I think of the key, I think of uh, the keys that are in the Hierophant card. Okay. And that speaks of knowledge and wisdom. So you're going to have a lot to gain on the road to pursuing this. Not only financial or fiscal freedom, a, a sense of well-being and, and, and everything for you and your family. You're going to learn a lot. <laughs> You're going to open up doors of opportunity for yourself. And then I'm looking at this, which is a number three, right? Two plus one is three broken down. This is also telling me that there's so much room to grow and expand via like the number three itself as an energy. It's a piece of growth, expansion, and creation and manifestation. So there's a lot to learn on, along the road to this, a lot to gain, a lot to be revealed about yourself. And not only that, like there's doors of opportunity that will be opened to you as a result of pursuing this. If you're concerned about money, Queen of Pentacles has enough. If you're concerned about providing for your family or is this going to benefit you and your lifestyle in any way, Queen of Pentacles is definitely thriving. She's like a mini empress to me. She dwells amongst a lot of fertility and abundance and she has her shit in order, basically. She has her life in order. She's very safe and secure and grounded. So it's also telling me that if you have a, per, a passion you're looking to pursue and you're wondering if it's based in reality, if, you know, is it just wishful thinking? I want to say to you, no, it's not wishful thinking. This is something very tangible, something very real that you have the opportunity to hone, create, and expand upon, okay, with these two energies here. So it kind of feels like unlock the doors of opportunity for yourself see where it leads you see what it reveals to you see what it shows you you have treasure to unlock along the way and spirits like it kind of feels like spirit wants to hand you the key so you can find out what those treasures are okay so let's go ahead and go directly into the second portion of your reading you have three options to choose from to find out where this story takes you right so we're looking at the elf the ladybug and the moon emoji. Pick one of those for the next portion of your reading. We're going to take a look at what will this bring or add to your overall experience and what may it lead you to. Pile number three viewers choosing the elf for the second portion of your reading. We're going to be looking at what will the pursuit of this passion, what will it lead you to, uh, what will it add or bring to your overall experience. Let's see. We know that it will be successful with the queen of pentacles. She will have enough. She will be supplied for. It might lead to higher education and other things that need to be learned, right? Um... But there's a lot to gain along the way is what this is saying. So let's see. What will it add to your overall experience? Let's see. What or where will it lead you? Let's 
Whoa, okay, so we have the Ace of Wands. Holy cow. Um, inspired inspiration, okay, inspired action with the Ace of Wands. New ideas. I'm also picking up from the Queen of Pentacles, uh, new skills as well. Like I was getting the vibe of higher education here or learning something new, right? Unlocking wisdom and knowledge because um, it was reminding me of the Hierophant card with the keys in that card. Um, spiritual knowledge perhaps also. And that makes sense with the Ace of Wands because the Ace of Wands is spiritual inspiration, the divine spark being lit within and the initiation, right, of something new. So what it's going to add to your overall experience, right, or what it's going to lead you to is new, new passions, new inspirations, new insights as well, new ideas. Again, the feeling of expanding upon, right? And I was feeling that from the three, new ideas to be expanded upon, the initiation of a new journey also with the Ace of Wands. Okay, this is cool because the feeling that I just got was you you take the, the step, right? You, you go in the direction of pursuing this passion, right? What does that spirit need you to know about pursuing this passion? That you'll be safe, you'll be secure, you'll have what you need like the Queen of Pentacles. You will be very abundant or live an abundant lifestyle. You have enough. You will unlock many doors for yourself. But the other thing that I'm getting from the Ace of Wands in regards to that is Pursuing the initial passion, right, with the Queen of Pentacles is going to unlock doors for yourself to, again, learn new things and reveal things to you that will lead to other things. So one thing leads to another. So the, the initial stage of the passion that you pursue leads to another passion, leads to a new passion, leads to the pursuit of another passion with the ace of wands because once spirit gets the ball rolling like once you get the ball rolling right and you unlock this door for yourself it unlocks many doors and then behind those doors are other passions that you maybe didn't know that know you had or other talents or creative ideas being birthed or born within you so it's like the one thing leads to another, to another, to another. And it's like a whole flood of creative energy, uh, an influx. Yes, an influx of creative energy gets birthed or born within you, gets initiated or um, inspired within you. And it's just the birth of creation. There's a lot of growth also that comes from the Ace of Wands. So you will also be growing, right? You will grow from this experience. Because it gets expanded upon. So the initial step in the pursuit of your passion leads to another idea altogether. Leads to a brand new idea altogether. And the pursuit of, of those things as well. So it just feels like there's going to be a lot of inspiration that will flood your life in a very positive way that's going to initiate more than one just one thing for you it could lead you to a different passion altogether but nonetheless this is all inspired by the divine because the ace of wands speaks of the divine spark within this is all leading to future growth and new things new journeys new experiences new insights new passions new creative endeavors so one thing leads to another, to another, to another, to another is what this is telling me. Um, and spirits like wants to pass the baton right to you in a sense is what this is telling me. I know that's weird, but it kind of feels like spirits just waiting for you to catch on. It's like, here's the key. I'm going to hand you the key to open and unlock this door for yourself. Are you ready? 
Because once you do take the key and you open the door and you cross over the threshold into this new journey to pursue this passion, that's not that's not the only door it's going to unlock, unlock. In fact, that's just the first of many is what this is saying. So let's see what the final message here is with a final oracle card. Um, I'm using the goddess guidance cards. Uh, I just heard the, the expansion of a very creative mind. So again, pile number three viewers choosing the Alp. I don't know if you are a super creative person, um, but if you're not yet, then the pursuit of this initial passion is going to open up a whirlwind of other creative passions and endeavors for you that you didn't even realize you had. Okay. So let's see. Final message here. Okay. Nice. Okay. We have Artemis, guardian. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. Now, wasn't I feeling that from the queen of pentacles in essence, like in the beginning of the reading where I was saying that if you worried, if you're going to be provided for, if you'll be safe, if you know, you'll be, um, your family will be taken care of fiscally, financially, whatever way you need to be taken care of and supplied for. This is indication of being protected on the journey to pursuing this passion, right? We have the fire energy here as well. So again, I think that ties in well to the passion energy of the Ace of Wands. Also, we also have um, the arrow or the bow and arrow, which is a symbol of uh, focus and directing your focus and landing your mark and hitting your target. Okay. So yeah, and the deer is also a very powerful or the stag is also a very powerful energy. Um, it could be one of your animal medicines here. So I would look up the stag energy, which is a symbol of a fire energy as well, fire and earth. Um, so yeah, this is basically saying that if you're, if you really desire this, um, this will open up a lot of doors for you in more ways than one. You can direct your energy, right? Um, and your focus to pursuing this, you will be stable as you devote your energy and your time into this focus. Um, and you will also be safe and secure. Okay. It's just a, also, I feel like it's a matter of faith too, because spirits, you know, spirit, if you want this spirit will hand you the key to unlock the door, to arrive at it or to accomplish it in a very safe and stable, secure way with the queen of pentacles. Um, but the, also the feeling is here, be prepared for other doors to be open to you as a result of taking the initial step. Um, and there's an influx and a flood of just ideas and inspirations that come from it. So yeah, snowball effect is, is kind of what this reminds you of too. So pile number one, choosing the elf. This is your reading before I get winded here. <laughs> Let me leave you here. Um, if you feel like this is helping connected for you in some magical way, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. Want to take it a step further to support what I do? Visit my Etsy store. The link to my Etsy shop is down below in the description box. Pay me a visit. I have really cool things there that I make by hand, including handmade crystal jewelry. So pay me a visit at any time. Much love to you wherever you are. Be well, be safe, take care, and always keep shining. Pile number three viewers choosing the ladybug. We are looking at the next portion of your reading and we are asking for this stage of um, your reading. We're asking what will the pursuit of this passion, where will it lead you? What will it add to your overall experience? Um, we already know that you'll be safe and secure in the pursuit of this if you're worried about being you know, supplied for or having enough. We know that it's going to open um, things to you, reveal things to you as well as maybe put you on the path to learn new things, right? But let's see what will it add to your overall experience, where or what will it lead you to? Let's take a look. And you know, it's crazy, like all these, the readings have been super positive, um, which is awesome. But let's take a look. This is like a choose your own adventure, right? You're choosing where the story goes. You're choosing 
what it is that you will arrive at or how, right? The pursuit of this is going to add to your overall experience. Let's see. Wow. Knight of Wands. Okay, so yeah, it kind of, you know what, I'm, I'm going to be honest. This reminds me of the elf, okay? Same, same reading. Um, pile number three, but for those of you choosing the elf, this reminds me of that portion of the reading. So very similar in energy. Um, Knight of Wands. Yeah, it's going to put you on the move. It's going to take you places, okay? So what it's going to add over to your overall experience, it's going to enhance your zest and passion for life, okay? Um, I also feel like this could take you traveling somewhere. The pursuit of this passion might put you on the move. It could actually literally move you somewhere. Um, it can put you on the path to explore a new place, a new location. It might have you relocate. So it might lead you to another place. It might lead you to a different location, maybe even to a person with the Knight of Wands here. Um, what this is telling me is that there's a lot of adventure to be had with the Knight of Wands energy. So it's going to open the door to bring some excitement and adventure into your life where maybe you didn't have that so much before. Um, you're not going to be the domestic stuck at home type of person in the pursuit of this passion. You're going to be on the move. You're going to be literally and figuratively going places and doing things. Knight of Wands is a very exciting, um, vivacious energy. It's basically saying there's not going to be a dull moment. Okay. And it's very creative and super inspired energy. And it also, once it gets a lot of creative ideas, it goes in pursuits. It goes in pursuit of those ideas. So the Queen of Pentacles with the key is saying that in the pursuit of this passion, you're going to lock a lot of doors for yourself. You're going to un unlock a lot of things that uh, maybe you didn't even realize were, were possible within you. Um, and then what's beautiful is that the Knight of Wands, once these things get revealed with the key, right? The Knight of Wands goes and attacks life. It goes in pursuit of those things. And it's not scared. It's not one of those energies that holds itself back. It's like once it wants something, it goes out and gets it. So I feel like it's this is going to teach you to pursue your dreams and ambitions without hesitation. Um, which is, I, I feel that's a good energy to have for the simple fact that you'll never be held back from anything that you have an idea on ever again. Because you're going to feel excited and you're going to focus on the positive and you're going to um, channel your energy into your ambitions. And you're just going to decide to do. Knight of Wands, especially super action-oriented energy. Knights in general speak of movement, action, speed, and momentum. So again, it's like whenever you get an idea moving forward after this, you're going to say, okay, I'm on it. I'm going to do it. I had an idea. I'm going to pursue it. Again, I'll go back to the idea that this may also, the pursuit of this passion might physically have you move somewhere else to go get it. Or once you pursue it, you might have the idea to move it somewhere or expand it further because the number three talks about creation, growth, and expansion, right? And manifestation. So the feeling is here, you might expand it to another place. You might not just have one location where you're pursuing this passion. You might have more than one. Or you might start off pursuing the passion in a certain place and then decide you want to take it somewhere else altogether. You want to, you, maybe you want to relocate because maybe... With the Queen of Pentacles, she does speak of success. So it's like once it becomes successful, you decide to relocate it somewhere else um, that is more inspiring to you with the Knight of Wands. So let's see. Let's see what the final message is here for those of you choosing the Ladybug. 
like I said, this energy was kind of reminding me of what the elf got. Um, so if you were in this debating, if you were choosing the Lemurian seed, but couldn't decide between the ladybug and the elf for the next stage of the reading, um, very similar energy. So let's see what the final message is here. Hold on. Final message, final oracle card for those of you choosing the ladybug. Okay. Oh, nice. High Priestess Energy it says, you have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. So for some of you, you know what? Okay. I know it's not like, I don't know, their crowns look similar to me, but I'm seeing the color scheme is very similar. Um, for some of you, the pursuit of this passion may also, again, unlock, like I was saying with the key, um, it unlocks wisdom, knowledge, and it could be spiritual knowledge as well, especially with the high priestess here. And spirit, a lot of spiritual inspiration gets unlocked through the pursuit of this passion. And yeah, I was saying higher learning or knowledge and it says you have divine knowledge, right? So you get, you gain divine knowledge through this or through the pursuit of this. And perhaps what you learn from the experience of pursuing this not only unlocks spiritual wisdom and knowledge within you, but then helps you to also impart that upon others through fulfilling your passion and perhaps even your spiritual purpose. So pile number three, choosing the ladybug. This is your reading. If you feel this has helped and connected for you in some way, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. I want to take, take it a step further to support what I do. Consider visiting uh, my Etsy store. The link to my Etsy shop is down below in the description box. Pay me a visit. I have really cool things that I make there by hand on my free time, including crystal jewelry. So much love to you wherever you are. Be well, be safe, take care, and always keep shining. Shining. Pile number three viewers choosing the moon. For this next portion of your reading, we are going to be taking a look at what will the pursuit of this passion bring or add to your overall experience? What will it lead you to? Where will it lead you? Uh, we already know that the Queen of Pentacles is indicating that if you pursue this passion, you will be sustained, you will be secure, you will have enough, you will have what you need. Um, you will be fruitful and abundant, right? And it's going to open up doors for you. It's going to unlock things for you. It might put you on the path to new opportunities and learning something new as well. So let's see. What will it bring to your overall experience? What will it add? For those of you choosing the moon, where will it lead you? What would it lead you to? Let's see. Pile number three viewers choosing the moon. One card. Whoa, okay. Okay, so I don't read reverse cards, by the way. Um, but we have the Two of Pentacles. Now, the Two of Pentacles is, is fluctuating, right? It's a fluctuating energy. So it's saying that if you go and pursue this passion, it's going to have some fluctuations in your journey, right? In, in the pursuit of it. But it's also not, not to be weary of it because... It's not anything you can't handle, right? This guy is juggling a lot. So you're going to be busy. You're going to be a busy bee. You're going to have a lot to, to juggle in your journey. Um, but it's all because you're creating something, right? We had the number three here. Again, creation, manifestation, expansion. You're creating something. You're going to be wearing many hats is what this is telling me. You're going to have a lot of things to manage and or juggle in the pursuit of this passion. But it's not anything that you can't handle because the person in the two of pentacles is able to hold right he's juggling but he doesn't drop the ball at all he's able to despite the fluctuations be able to keep it together so this is saying that expect that you might have some maybe ups and downs as anything in life right uh when we're pursuing something uh or where we're trying to achieve a goal Expect some up, ups and downs, sure, but it's not anything that you won't be able to manage. You will be able to hold it and keep it together. Um, this is about also trying to find the right balance that works for you. So it could be because the Queen of Pentacles is very domestic, right? It could be that you might encounter 
some things um, that you have to kind of rearrange or reassess when it comes to balancing work, your work and your, your family life, you see. Um, you might have to try to find a happy balance and equilibrium in that scenario between work and play, work and family. I feel you'll be wearing many hats, right? Um, and having a lot of uh, different roles to play in regards to your goals or your pursuit or your passion. You might have more than one role, right? Within what you're doing, actually. You, you know what? You might be, you may, you might be that person that runs the, sh runs the entire show, right? Uh, what do they call that? A one man band, right? <laughs> you, you've ever heard of that saying? Um, and it's because they can do it all. They do do it all. And somehow they manage to play all those instruments at the same time and make it make sense. <laughs> you know, that's the two of pentacles here. You will wear many hats. You will be a one, one person band. But you will at the same time be able to manage and keep it together. The, the thing is though, to make sure that even despite all the things that you're juggling, all the responsibilities and the duties that you may have as a result of pursuing this, that you take time to balance your work life, your, again, your goals with your family life, with your me time, right? You want to make sure that you can find the balance amongst work and play and all of those things to make sure that you're healthy, you're happy, and you're thriving like the queen of pentacles, okay? So I would say you will be able to manage all the fluctuations that this endeavor will bring and you will be successful at it, but it will come with a lot of things that you are res maybe responsible for or have a lot going on at the same time. You will be busy. Just make sure not to stretch yourself too thin to the point where you lose your ish. If you know what I mean, you drop the ball um, because you're not managing the work and the play or the family life and the work life, right? Or the family life and the pursuit of your passion. You're, you're not managing it well enough that you end up dropping the ball. You got to take time out for you. You got to find a happy balance, a happy medium in order to be successful. That's the advice here. Okay. Otherwise, one thing will suffer over another. All right. And we don't want that. So um, the thing is, is that you're capable of managing it. Um, it's just about finding the right equilibrium in, in, in and amongst all those things. So let's see if we can get a final oracle card here for pile number three viewers choosing the moon. Whoa, okay. So that kind of fell my way and direction. There's two cards here. Let's see what we have. Oh, nice. Look at that. That is perfect. The cycles and rhythm, right? Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. Yeah, ups and downs, right? Rhythms. That's what that's about. The fluctuations I was talking about. And making sure that you do honor yourself and take time out for you, right? So that way you can maintain a healthy equilibrium amongst the pursuit of your passions, your goals, your endeavors with your family life, your personal life, you know, all that stuff. You gotta find the happy medium in and amongst all those things or one thing will suffer over another and you don't want that, right? It's all about finding a happy balance. That's what this energy talks about. So it's perfectly in alignment. Um, and then we have the arts here. So express yourself through your creative activity. So this definitely the pursuit of a passion may be a creative talent or skill or endeavor that you've always wanted to pursue. Um, and this is saying that you will thrive with the queen of pentacles in the expression of that. So go ahead and pursue, right? and express yourself through your creative ideas and passions. 
uh, whatever they may be. Some of you may play an instrument, some of you may be musicians, some of you may be artists. Uh, this is also telling me that you will thrive and grow and transform with the lotus energy here and the, it looks like a swan. Swans are, swans and lotus energy is both symbols of transformation. So you will thrive, but you will also transform and change through the process of pursuing this talent gift or creative endeavor that you have. Um, but as you pursue it, again, make sure you take the time out to find a happy balance in your in the pursuit of your passion as well with your personal life. You don't want your personal life to suffer in the pursuit of pursuing the passion, right? Um, but I feel like there's a lot of doors of opportunity, doors of opportunity to learn new things, to explore new avenues. This will all be opened up to you the minute you decide to pursue this. Trust that you will say, be safe. You'll have what you need. Just find a happy balance, okay? In and amongst everything that you're doing and got your hands in. Um, so this is your reading, pile number three viewers choosing the moon. I will leave you here. If you feel that this has helped and connected for you in some way, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. I want to take it a step further to support what I do beyond YouTube. Uh, visit me on Etsy. Uh, I have an Etsy store. The link to my shop is down below in the description box. Pay me a visit. I have really cool things that I make there by hand, including handmade crystal jewelry. So much love to you wherever you are. Be safe, be well, take care, and always keep shining.